I see Dal Qasim as being a of being a place that has the potential not just to transform individuals but also society as a whole. Because what we're trying to do here is we are trying to not just teach students the bare bones, dry fiqh about, you know, this is how you pray, this is how you make wudu, and this is what you believe and things like that, but getting them to think about Islam in a particular way, thinking about Islam as part of this larger tradition of 1400 years that we're all standing on the shoulders of giants on. And then also to think critically about the society that they live in. The most important thing that's special about Dar al-Qasim is just the fact that we bring together so many strands of the Islamic intellectual tradition. And what we have at Dar al-Qasim is that we've got you know, faculty that's not just from all these different places, but they've studied in all these different places. And we have faculty that are studied in the Maghrib, people who have studied in the Arab lands, in Turkey, in Malaysia, in the, in the subcontinent. And then having you know, 20 or so faculty members where each one of them is a representative, at least partly, of those different flavors of the Islamic intellectual tradition. Uh, that's something that I haven't seen anywhere else in the entire world. We are in the quest for more, in the quest for more.